Okay, well welcome back to the channel. It's been quiet for a few months because ZS15 beside me here has been away at Loco Customs. It's been getting all the paint and panel done. So uh, what I'll do now is show you what it looks like. So what is happening? Um, we appreciate everyone being patient why, we, uh, why we've had this down at Paint and Panel and Loco has been doing their work and uh, what amazing work they've done. Like just have a look at the red against the silver as it is and I'm already excited to see this thing finish. So now we've got lots and lots and lots and lots of things to do. So, so before we can put this back in, we've actually got to pull out the subframe um, front and rear and we're going to get everything powder coated. We're going to rebush everything on the engine side We've got a few little things to do more so again with just powder coating getting everything prepped and ready so that next time this engine goes in It ain't coming back out Are you sure about that and we're real excited to see this in its home for the final time And we're excited to see this in its home for its forever home um, and I hope you guys are too so come along for the journey and let's start ripping in to getting some of this stuff off ready to clean and powder coat as you can see the uh, engine mount brackets are just factory factory brackets uh, nothing special but they're ugly they're old they've seen better days we'll powder coat them up get them new air conditioning unit needs to be cleaned the air conditioning bracket needs to be cleaned we've also got the power steering uh, pump bracket, I've got to take off the power steering pump, go off and get clean. Caster bracket, sway bars, uh, power steering rack's going to get rebuilt, the subframe's going to get repowder coated, we'll rebush everything. Arm wise at the front, I'm not 100% sure, I don't think we're going to replace any arms, we're just going to rebush it. And then at the rear, we're going to do a lot of arms and rebush the subframe, take the diff out, we've got a Nismo 1.5 way to go in as the new center. And yeah, we are excited to see this come to life. So outside of uh, what we're doing on YouTube here, if you want to keep up to speed with what we're doing, any sales that we have on our online store, feel free to jump over, follow us on all our socials. There'll be links in the description. There'll be links on the homepage of our YouTube channel. So please, we really appreciate all the support. Like, comment, subscribe, jump on our socials, keep up to date, and we'll talk to you again soon. hand side out. I'll go rip the other side out and then I'll come back once we've uh, starting to pull power steering and uh, the cross member out. Alrighty, so front end is nearly entirely removed. I'm just going to move this little brace here, undo the power steering rack and remove it and then we've got four, four nuts on the subframe that can come out and we're home on the front and we'll head down to the rear Normally I would uh, just undo shockies, undo all the bolts, drop the whole thing down in sort of one piece. Sorry about the glare, there you go. But because I'm here by myself today, it's just going to be a lot easier and lighter if I uh, unbolt everything and just drop diff and subframe together. Well, Vinny, the foreman, what do you say, mate? Have I done a good job? Have I pulled everything apart as I should? 
Yeah, as you can see now, everything's on the ground. There's a lot of stuff in the box, all the intercooler piping, a lot of the caster brackets, etc., are all in there. Um, this will all be sent off. Um, once I've had a chat with Brad on what ball joints and bushes he wants and new wheel bearings, etc., I will strip that stuff down just a little bit further and send that off for powder coating, but that's the front end. Okie dokie, well, it's another day and I'm standing underneath the S15. Um, so we're going to rip this out now. I thought I was going to do it yesterday, ran out of time because uh, running a shop thing. So uh, let's get it out now, get it all down on the ground and strip it all apart, have it all ready. And then when I finish working out with Brad what arms he does want and what bushes he wants, we can uh, tear the rest of it down, press out the bushes, get everything powder coated, put new stuff in and off we go. So again, we thank you that you are watching in and tuning into all of our videos, even when it's a, an episode like this where we're doing the boring stuff, we're pulling it apart, pulling off all the dirty stuff, but the exciting part comes next because once all this comes back, engine goes back in, we put in all this freshly powder coated stuff and it gets real exciting from there. So, so yeah, stay hyped. Appreciate all the love and uh, let's get this done. Okie dokie, because of time and me being here by myself today, having to film everything and do everything by myself, I ended up just putting the camera down and not filming the last little bits, but it is back on the ground. Um, a few of the bracket trees and stuff, but we'll strip this down. Last time I spoke to Brad, we spoke about doing the traction, camber and toe arms. Uh, and making them adjustable, leaving the LCAs, putting new bushes in it, new bushes in the knuckle, new subframe bushes. These are intact, but they are a little soft because um, I was jacking it up and down before, so they do have more movement than you would want for a 600 horsepower build. Obviously, diff bushes are going to get done. We'll get CVs rebuilt, potentially put new wheel bearings in it and uh, powder coat the lot, put it all back together. So pretty keen, pretty excited. Um, again, thank you to all those that have been watching. Uh, any advice, anything you want to need for your car or for parts you want to order, jump onto atakagarage.com.au, check out our merch. Every like, every comment, every purchase from our online store really helps us along and will help us do some of these projects in the future. See you all next time. <music>